Hello, this is me, Mammoth201. Today we will be reviewing Titan Returns Brainstorm. Here he is in his vehicle mode. Looks a bit different in his regular ver his regular vehicle mode as he is a retool off of the blur mold. Now, it doesn't work nearly as good as it does in robot mode, but yeah, here's his Titan Master. His face is painted, which is very different as usually their faces are not painted. So, without further ado, here's his face. Now let's get that out of focus. And yeah, let's begin transformation. Now, ah, transform. Oh, yeah, transformation. As most of the detailing doesn't really show up until robot mode, so you just unhinge these because they're tabbed into these tabs right here. It's because the fists, or no, right here, the sides over right there, it's tabbed into that hole. You unhinge those, you move that. Um, the legs are kind of clipped in, so you just unclip those, unfold the legs, open them, fold that in, boom, unfold the feet, boom, alright, hold on, alright, now, you push this up, fold that down, push the arms in until you hear that click. Do the same on the other side, fold that down. Now you grab this arm, you fold that part, push that back, it's done like a double hinge. Push that. Oh, one thing I forgot, I had the gun right here. So you can take that, put it in his hand. It'll take this off for now, it's not part of the... Uh, Hold it. You know, actually, I think it is. But you don't have. You can keep this on his back, or you can use it as a shield. I'll show you the shield gimmick in just a moment. And you take our Titan Master, and you plug him in. You got Titan Return Brainstorm. And, as I was saying, you can plug this as a shield, or shield thingy. And there you go. It doesn't work, it kind of collides with that. And, yeah. You could use this as like a, because there's a little piece right here you could unhinge out, which I believe the Titan Master can fit in here somewhere, like right there where that hole's at, because there's that on their legs, so you would, you would peg him in like that, and he could ride. Like, yeah, yeah, that was, that was great. You know, it's things like that is just lovely. Just very, very lovely. Anyways, as I was saying, boom, there you go. Very nice, very nice. But we'll put his head back on. And we'll go over articulation. Now, articulation is very basic. You got a knee. That's a bit more than 90. Waist articulation. Arms go that far. They can go three, four, three hundred sixty degrees. Splits. Wrists do swivel and turn. That got a swivel. And you get about a 90 degree bend at the elbow. These do fold, so if you don't want them out like that. And yeah, oh yeah, and his head. You can kind of look up, kind of look down. 360 degrees. And yeah, that's pretty much about all of his articulation. Pretty well articulated figure for a deluxe class, and overall, if you can find them, because he is a Walgreens exclusive, in America anyways, I would highly suggest you track him down. He's a great figure, and he goes in scale with the original, uh, with all the other Titan Returns figures, and if you have the other original Headmasters released in this wave, I would highly recommend him, and as always, see you later.